Do you remember this consist- Holy shit. Scar just zoomed like a shadow. Do you remember this consistent conversation that we would always have as children with our parents? This consistent conversation that they kept on repeating to us day in, day out. Day in, day out. And it was always the older people who told us this. And we were supposed to look up to them. And we should look up to them because they're older people. And they're more wise. And they want what's best for us. And because they want what's best for us, we simply have to assume that they know what's best for us. And in this case, they kept on telling us that we have to take the safe route. That the risky route is a taboo. We must not touch the risky route. We must go down the path of traditional traditionalism and not the traditionalism in the way where it's anti modern you know you know exactly what i'm talking about right not the good tradition we have to take the traditional way of going to school going to college that they pick for us by the way they pick the major we want they pick the the degree we want we don't even pick it ourselves especially with eastern like eastern parents middle eastern parents asian parents indian parents pakistani parents it's always the same path. It's always the same story I always hear. You have to go to school. You have to get good grades. You have to be good in the sciences and the maths. And then you have to go into college and you have to be good at those specific sciencey maths things where you don't even have a an inklet of passion for it. You really don't care about it. Now, here's the thing. We've been sold that, okay, we have to not take the risks, right? Because the safe route is, is what's going to make us happy in the long term. What if there are people who would be more content with risking it and then failing than simply just taking the safe route and being safe with it? You know who I know is this type of person? Me. Me. Ali, sitting right in front of you, bro. I'm the type of person where if I have passion in the risk and I believe in the risk, I would rather take the risk and fail with it than go down the safe route and regret down the line that I never even attempted. This is why I always say, it's one of my mo like my favorite quotes, the pain of regret is far worse than the pain of rejection, whether it be you taking the risk and going up to that cute girl you see at the gym. Because here's the thing, it will eat at your mind. It will corrupt and spread an evil purple corruptive seed in your mind that you never even attempted in the first place, that you never took the risk, that you never even tried. How would you even live with yourself if you never even tried? Imagine if I listened to my parents, if I listened to my parents, right? And they told me, continue down there, because I went to uni, right? And I, I was doing engineering. And I could have continued, but I looked and I said, bro, I hate this so much. I would never ever be content with myself if I never decided to choose something that actually fulfills me, that I want to do, that I believe in, which is this and many other things that are hidden behind the scenes right now. But it's this, right? How, the, the biggest, the biggest number one most dying regret is I wish I lived for myself. I wish I did things that I wanted to do and stopped living for other people. I wish I lived. I wish I lived. So imagine you living your life for the sake of your friends or for the sake of your parents. And yes, we want to, you know, make our parents proud and happy and everything. But we have to understand their ulterior intentions. They want what's best for us, but they don't know what's best for us. They haven't been educated the same way we are. They never had the blessings of like the internet and like finding specific places to learn and people like, you know, like these, these influencers who can educate you and they never really, they never read books, man. Your parents were never really on self-improvement. They just went on like the natural way. And granted, they, they are doing their best, but that doesn't mean they are doing the best, the best potential, right? You could be Try harding in the gym, but that doesn't mean you're really, really breaking your muscles to the most worst potential, which means you get the most gains, right? Your parents want what's best for you, but they don't know what's best for you. They don't know what's best for you. Only you, you know the path you want to pursue. You know your type of personality. You know what kind of man you are. Are you the risk taker? Or are you like, do you prefer to be the person who just goes down the safe route and i know it sounds cool to be oh yeah man i'm the risk taker but that's not the case taking the risk is fucking scary as shit man it's scary as shit and you always live life on the edge there will be periods where you're making let's say in the case of business right because this is what the video idea is kind of talking about business and anti-education system let's say you decide to it's not really anti but it's more talking about it let's say you decide to take the risk right there will be periods where you have astronomical profits astronomical profits were the profits you can't even believe you look around your friends and you think how do you go to a nine to five 
and I make this when I'm sleeping. It's triple your monthly salary when I'm sleeping. How? You make 3K a month. I made 9K while I was sleep. How? How do you still go to the 9 to 5? And then there will be weeks, possibly even months, where you make literally like pennies and you start being scared. This is the life of risk. This is the life of risk, but they choose to take the life of eternal monotony. We don't choose to, to take that life. We choose the life of high ups and low lows. I would much rather prefer this, and it's a general uptrend, right? These guys are just like this. It's literally just a straight line. Now, some people and some personalities are suited for that. You are literally built and hardwired. You are programmed. You have been brought up and you've listened to people who, who've programmed you into being this kind of eternal monotonous person. And if that's you, then that's completely fine. Look, I want a thing that will give you the most long-term life fulfillment. I know for me, it's this. For you, it might be this. It might be this. We live life on the edge and it's fucking scary. And it sounds cool saying, yeah, man, I'm the risk taker. You have to understand, most risk takers are in fucking prison. So it's not really cool, right? The traders who take the most risk are also the traders who fucking end up blowing their account. The riskiest people are in prison. A failed robbery. Oh, they tried to rob the store and it's a risk. But oh, big reward. You might fucking make a lot of money. And then they get caught. Obviously, I'm not endorsing fucking robbing a store, but you get the point, okay? Being like the, the, the risk taker can give you astronomical rewards, astronomical rewards. And so many people fail, like you can get so many rewards, but at the same time, so many people fail. And that's why it's so taboo. It's so taboo to try and take the risk because more people fail than succeed. And the law of sample size, the law of just statistics tells your parents to not believe in you. It tells your family and your friends and your brotherhood to not believe on you, in, in you. Not here. Not here. With every single belief I instill in you, with the hundreds of videos that have been pumped out, out of me, I am telling you to take the risk. I am telling you to believe in yourself. With all my products, with all my coaching, with Project 10K, I implant beliefs into you that force you to become successful. You don't understand, man. Like, the, the thing that matters the most when it comes to risk-taking behavior is actually your self-belief. It's your self-belief. Yes, the hard work and the discipline and motivation and all this stuff matters. But if you don't even believe in the first place that you can get successful or you can take the risk and be the person who succeeds with the risk, then everything else is meaningless. You'll never even begin. You'll never even begin, bro. So how do you expect to begin if you don't believe in yourself? So you need to start deprogramming. You need to start removing the debugging, the debugging, removing the corrupt code that's in your mind. You have lines of code in there and your family, your parents, your traditional mother and father who've never, like they don't really believe in the concept of making money online because in their time it was just weird and anybody who did it or tried to do it failed because they sucked and they didn't have the information and knowledge and resources. So your parents are trying to provide you with the best of what they know. And they think that it is to continue the traditional path but you have to remove this debugging this this code this corruptive code you have to debug it and put like replace it with code that actually serves you best if what fulfills you is taking the risk with starting a business or learning to trade where 99 percent of traders fail but we have the self-belief that we can do it where 99 percent of business owners fail but we have the self-belief that we can do it if you can debug the code and replace it with self-belief and strong self-belief and knowing that the only thing that will stop you from achieving your goals is you quitting. It's an inevitable thing. It's completely inevitable. The risk will be taken. The time will be allowed. You will submit to the time and you will continue charging forth. The only thing that will stop you is possibly a quitting self-belief. Oh, I give up. That's the only thing that will stop you. That's the filter. This is the filter that removes peasants from kings in terms of the risk-taking industry or business or trade, whatever it is where you have to take the risk. This, the risk-taking behavior can literally apply to anything. It can apply to talking to a girl, like I explained earlier, it can apply to business. It can apply to so many things. It can apply literally to a myriad of things. But well, we have to remove the programming. We have to remove the code. What I'm teaching you here today is to understand that there has been such subtle and strenuous and over time there has been so much code. Not, not code that helps you. 
Because you have goals, right? You have extraordinary goals, but you can't achieve them through ordinary, you know, output or input. Extraordinary output must come through extraordinary input. Like branching away from the millions of people and, and escaping this education system to pursue what you believe in. Now, if you want to be a doctor, engineer, fine, whatever, that's, that's different. But if you want to be something else, remove this million, like these millions of, of lines of code, debug them day by day. And understand that whatever you want, man, I don't want to be one of these cliche motivational speakers. Whatever you want can be achieved. I promise you anything can be achieved. But it has to be achieved by removing self-limiting, like limiting beliefs. You have, to, you have to remove the doubt and you have to take the risk. Like it saddens me so much. I speak to so many people in my DMs every day. I have an Instagram. If like, don't just DM me out of the blue because I won't reply to you. No, I can't really say I can't really say that because I have. <laughs> I was, was going to push you. So. Like I speak to so many people on our. But like I speak to so many people in our brotherhood and with within this message. I have a Discord. I have an Instagram. They're both linked in the description. And it's so heartbreaking to see that every single, especially in the Asian, like the the East End, they have so much limiting beliefs. Just remove it, journal about it, remove it and debug this code and understand that if I can do it, I'm also like, I'm also like you, I'm not special. I'm just a fucking kid who hopped in front of a camera, did the work that he needed to do, did the work behind the scenes, learned a bunch of things, read a bunch of books, bought a bunch of course. I was that kid. Okay. I'm not special like you. I'm, I'm not special like you. I'm not special. You're not special. Neither of us are special. The only thing that separates us is the beliefs that we have, the limiting beliefs. Could I do it? I believe I can. Can you do it? You should believe you can too. And if you want to have a complete revamp of your entire mindset, not just have the blueprint, I give you the blueprint, but a complete revamp of your mindset that none of these other YouTubers can give you, none of these other bullshit courses can give you, then look into Project 10K, where you get from zero, dead broke, wherever you are right now, zero audience, zero followers, nothing, empty, soulless, to 10K a month in six months with a completely sharpened mind, a sharpened mind that you can never achieve anywhere, a mind that is literally sharper than diamond you can focus specifically on the work that you have the blueprint in front of you i used it and look where i am today brother if you're interested in that look into project 10k first link in the description but other than that wish not for a lighter load or for a stronger back